Yep, Sunday again, and you know where you are. This is Drumstick Sunday Channel. I'm Alberto Iglesias, and you know here we have a different pair of drumsticks every week. Okay, so uh, let's talk about drumsticks. Huh? Uh, this this week I've, I've taken a rest about the requests, and I, I've done this for me. Uh, well, this is because when I was uh, doing the last order of, of drumsticks, I found out this model that I didn't I, honestly I didn't knew that uh, that uh, even a six. Um, so, but well, the thing is, this is the model from well, this is the model from uh, the awesome drummer John Riley from Cillian. This is the signature model, okay? So, uh, okay, this is not like a mainstream drummer, I know that, but for me, it's kind of cool because um, of, of one of his books. Um, okay, first of all, let's see a picture of, of John Riley. So, do you can have an idea of how he looks like, okay? This is John Riley. Cool, so uh, what happens with him? Okay, uh, I, I really love one of his books, which is pretty known jazz book, which is The Art of Drumming. It's one of the most I think it's one of the most known uh, jazz books uh, of all times. And um, I've been studying this book for a long time, uh, but especially four pages with, with our, uh, the uh, comping exercises. Um, when I've been, uh, I really learned, I think I learned a lot about, not only about comping, but about reading, uh, independence, a lot of great, great book. I'm working on, on still working on it, in fact. Um, and I have a funny fact about the, about your rally. Uh, well, many of you know that two years ago I was lucky enough to go to the 21 drums. It's an awesome drum camping in Dublin, which happens every year. And uh, okay, one of the teachers is Mark Juliana. Uh, one day I was talking with him about, about what I was studying and all that, and talking about jazz. And, and, and I mentioned, oh, I, there's a book I really love, which is the art of drumming, I don't know if you know the book, it's just, it's great and all that. And okay, he said, yeah, yeah, I know, it's a great book. And, well, so, and after a while I was reading a little bit of, of the Mark's uh, biography, <laughs> I found out that in fact Mark was studying with John Riley <laughs> in person. So, but he was, he, he's such a nice guy that he, he didn't mention that. <laughs> He didn't want me to think, okay, I'm an asshole. So, uh, I, I guess that's what's happened when you talk with this kind of guy, you know, uh, that level. Yeah. So, um, when I see that this model exists, I think, okay, I have to try that. Um, so, let's talk about the drumsticks now. First of all, let's see the picture so you can see how they look like and the shape and all that. This is the signature model from John Riley from Celia. Okay, so uh, first the sizes and all that. This is uh, 0 0.550 inches uh, of the, the grip. Uh, we have 16 inches long, kind of long taper, and uh, a special, it's like an acorn, but with more between an acorn and an arrow, I would say, kind of tip, cool tip. And uh, it's hickory, and uh, it's um, the regular finish from boot, from boot finish from from Celia, I guess. Nothing special about that. Okay, let's translate that. As always, uh, zero point five five zero. It's we are under five A. Five A. You know that we usually have five A. That's have zero point five six five. This is five five zero. You, you can notice that immediately. It's it's kind of it's kind of a thin drumstick, not like a seven A. It's not like a seven A. I think it's a little bit more, but it's it's a thin drumstick. Okay, sixteen inches long, so nothing to say about that. Kind of the regular uh, length. Uh, but we have two main things that it, which is the first of all super long taper or pretty long taper, say, and the, the this special tip that we have. 
Uh, okay, I, I, I can explain something, but I've been reading a little bit about the drumstick um, in, the, in the John's uh, webpage, in fact. Uh, and he mentioned that, okay, the thing, apparently when John started working with Cillian, they sent him a lot of different models from them, so he can test and all that. And he was trying all the models, and, but he wasn't capable to find one that really fits what, with, with what, uh, with what uh, he was looking for. And uh, okay, he just go to his workshop and took, uh, start sanding the drumstick and trying different things and blah, blah, blah. And uh, apparently after a while he find out his, his perfect drumstick. Uh, okay, so he ended up with that kind of Frankenstein model and apparently he sent that model to them. And when they test the model and see how they look like, how the response and all that, they decided to, to, to create that model and incorporate, to the, the, to, uh, incorporate that model to their catalog. Um, okay, in the beginning it was called the Concert Jazz model. In fact, it's still, you, you can still see this, this uh, Concert Jazz thing here. But um, after a while, they finally decided to, to name the, the drums uh, uh, to, to create a signature model from John Riley. And that's why they have the signature here. Um, that's kind of the history of the drums. Uh, well, I realized that I haven't said anything about uh, uh, John Riley. Uh, okay, I, well, honestly, I, I really don't know him a lot about the, the history of, of his playing or that. I really know more about his uh, teacher uh, side. But, uh, well, he's been playing with a lot of uh, pretty uh, huge guys. So they have Miles Davis, for example, we have uh, John Scofield, we have uh, uh, Mike Stern, okay, that kind of guys. Uh, obviously, the kind of music is not so mainstream, but he's, he's one of the big guys in, in jazz. And especially, I think he's a great teacher, he's still teaching. And I've seen, well, Mark, Mark is, is, is a huge fan of him, and uh, he was kind of a mentor, in, apparently. And, uh, and okay, he's, he's pretty huge in jazz, in fact. Um, okay, uh, what about the drumstick, about the, uh, the test of the drumstick? Well, the first thing I have to mention is, well, uh, not about the thickness, I don't have a lot of things to say. It's just, as always, it depends on you. Uh, you can expect a, a, a thin drumstick, as, uh, as I was saying, so if you like that, cool. If you don't like thin drumsticks, I'm afraid it's not a thing. Uh, I will also say that it's, it's kind of a jazz drumstick. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, of, of that kind of uh, definitions, but honestly, everything is, at least I would say that everything in these drumsticks are designed to, to, to be cool or to, be, to work great with jazz. Uh, obviously, if you like the, the thickness, if you like, you want to apply it in other um, styles, great. Sometimes you're gonna have problems maybe with the weight or maybe with the, the power of the drumstick. Of course, if you, use it, if you are using this drumstick for, I don't know, heavy metal, <laughs> it's not gonna work so great in my opinion, but not because of the shape, it's just because that the, the drumstick has been designed with all the purpose. So, um, nothing to say about the thickness, it's up to you. The length, 16 inches, nothing to say either, it's the regular uh, uh, length or standard length. But I have the main two things for me in this drumstick are the taper and the tip, okay? Um, okay, first of all, the taper, long taper, in fact, pretty long taper. Uh, you know what you can expect from that. It's a fast response, fast rebound, uh, but at the same time, you lose a little bit of control because of the weight, because of the balance of the drumstick. Uh, but, in, but that, that, um, long taper and that kind of response works really great with jazz. When you don't want a, you don't want a lot of volume normally, uh, so it, this, this configuration is gonna help you with that. Uh, you can have a pretty fast drumstick, but at the same time, not a lot of volume, so you can work, you can work in, in a range that adapts really great with jazz. Uh, on the other hand, we have this uh, kind of cool tip which is like an acorn that has been sanded all around, so it's more uh, thin, 
It's more like a novel, between a novel, between an acorn. It's kind of a, uh, it's not an arrow, but it's kind of like that idea. So what happens with this? We have more surface touching the the cymbals and the and the drum heads. So uh, as you know, as I always say, when you have that, you have more overtones, more open sound. Um, so and at the same time, the rebound is not so uh, not 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 as good as we, with a I don't know a round tip or or a small round tip. So we have a combination here, which is something like the long taper, which is working in one, uh, working for, you know, it's giving you more rebound, giving your fast uh, rebound. And on the other hand, we have this kind of tip that kind of work in an opposite way. Uh, if we talk about rebound, for me, after I I, I think I try different drumsticks that has this combination or just the completely opposite which is great i think they combine really well because they kind of balance the response okay you, you have that rebound fast and uncontrolled but at the same time this kind of tip is kind of help you I, I, for me i i feel like it helps me to control better the drumstick at the same time we have that kind of open sound we have that angle thing that we usually mention that because of the shape, if you modify the angle of attack, it's, it, it modifies the sound a lot. And um, so it's kind of a rich drumstick, I would say. You, you can get a lot of different sounds from me, from, from this drumstick, depending on how you hit the, drum, the cymbals, or how you use the, the, the drumstick. Um, this is something that don't happen with all drumsticks. There's a lot of drums that it, it, you can play with different speed, with different angle, and the sound is kind of the same. In this case, I think we, we have that option. We, we can modify that. So, honestly, I think it's a drum set that you're going to need one or two days to get used to. Because, especially because of the tip, I think, and because of the, the kind of sound you get, you, you have to work on it. You have to try different angles, try different uh, things until you find... Uh, the balance for you, but once you have that, it's really, really comfortable and it's, it's a fast, comfortable drumstick. But honestly, I think, just to sum up, I think it's a, it's really, really, I think it's a drumstick designed for something, like it's jazz or that kind of stuff. It's really, really well designed for that. And that is giving you that extra uh, thing uh, because of the tip. So, and I think it's a great option if you have, if you like 7A, but, uh, uh, you don't like the length because you know 7A is a little bit shorter. Uh, okay, here you have a really great option, but you are gonna have to try the tip first and see if it works for you or not. Uh, if you like that kind of more open sound and all that. But anyway, great, great drumstick and amazing drum. <laughs> okay, so for the next week, uh, I think it's a request too, but I'm, I, I really don't care about that because it's it's kind of the same situation that happened two weeks ago with the Colayuda signature model and we have this other model which is the Dave Weckl signature model from Big Fear. and okay this is one of the models he has well I, I'll talk about that uh, in the next episode and okay nothing else we have seven days in front of us to try drums can to keep drumming and to keep practicing okay don't forget that so what happens now? But the only thing that happens is that I'm gonna, I, I'm waiting for you, eh? okay? In seven days here in Jurassic Sunday, okay? Have a nice week, goodbye.